Creeping up on a quarter after 10 o'clock on this night, and look at the temperatures across North Texas. Temps are still sitting in the 80s and in some spots in the 90s. And that extreme heat, we've talked so much about it, not hard just on our bodies, it's hard on our roads as well. Look, look at this going on. A lot of construction here because they got to fix things. Still early in the summer, but for the second time in a week, crews in the Houston area, they had to repair a buckled road. But how exactly does that happen, and what are the chances it could happen to North Texas roads this summer? Summer. We spoke with we spoke with TexDOT today, and put simply, you can blame it on the triple-digit heat. Keep in mind, surface temperatures on roadways can be 40 degrees higher than the actual temperature, and that heat can cause concrete to expand. There are two places on a road where buckling is most likely to occur. The first is a seam where new concrete meets older concrete. The second is where there is a bridge joint. These bridge joints are designed to help roads withstand temperature changes, but in conditions with extremely high temps, they don't always work the way they're meant to. Concrete can expand to the point where there's nowhere else for it to go but up. And the good news so far this summer, it hasn't happened in our area, but TxDOT says they're ready, thank goodness, if it does. We have drivers who go out almost every day just looking for issues that do come up. And so we are keeping an eye out for these potential locations. With the heat that we're getting and the lack of the cool down at night, we do expect uh, there to be some challenges. Let's hope not. As you're well aware, though, North Texas is home to lots and lots of concrete. TxDOT's Dallas and Fort Worth districts cover more than 20,000 miles of road lanes. And believe it or not, 8,000 bridges. That surprised me when I heard that. That's a lot of opportunity for issues, of course. So if you see a road buckle or any kind of issue and you want to report it, you can report it at texas.gov. They have an online portal for reporting. Make it nice and easy for you.